Okay, I got this 25 foot gooseneck with these 10,000 pound Dexter axles and I see the trailer needs a, a deck and some ramp work. But, uh, and sadly I paid, this was the cheapest trailer I could find, but I, I still feel like I paid a lot for it. But anyway, the brakes didn't work. And I kind of rolled the dice thinking it would be uh, a wiring issue, but they, the wiring looked really... I thought it was a wiring issue because underneath there was just um, uh, a bunch of exposed... Uh, the insulation was gone on the wiring. And uh, so I tied it up and I uh, put some electrical tape around the exposed wires. And the trailer brakes actually worked for a little bit but um, they would go on and off. And I hooked it up to the truck and I checked the voltage. The voltage out of the truck, I was getting nine volts without the trailer hooked up. But then once I hooked the trailer up, I was getting uh, five volts. Everything dropped to five volts. So there's something grounding out and it's probably, it's, it's, it's a combination of probably wiring and, and the brakes. So I'm gonna tear the brakes off and see what, what I got in store. This is one and one sixteenth nuts. Actually, that ain't gonna work. Whoops. Not for sure what the oil's supposed to be in here, but it's like got I don't know 140 in it or something. It seems way too, way too thick. I was thinking something more like an 80 weight. I, I'll try to look it up. This is an old Dexter axle from the 90s. I don't have a big pair of uh, channel locks, so I'm using this oil filter wrench. Kind of hokey. Or it doesn't work, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. That just seems way too thick.
bearing's all right. It could be. Let's go. It's rusty. The cage is rusty. it up. Brakes are grabbing. Try my brake tool here, brake adjuster tool. I don't know if it's going to work. Lucky this I had to push this away to rotate this down. Lucky that you weren't too seized up. Hmm. Oh, these are pretty, pretty worn. For sure, if this, these drums, the rebore diameter is 12.34 inches, and my tape measures, I just, I don't know, just trying to measure the inside where it's worn, and that's every bit of a quarter. 12 and a quarter to that lip, but it actually drops down lower. And it might be 12.3 maybe. See how easy these are to take off. I was afraid of that. So I'm going to have to put up my tools for tonight and I got to get this kind of cleared out for the rain that's moving in tomorrow. Yeah, see this one's all rusted up. Magnets, no good. You can see the coil in there. The pads are good. I don't know what happened. one's actually worn into the starting to wear into the 
bolts so I mean I think this one's definitely got to be replaced yeah and this one's this one's actually the best drum I've got I wish they were dated I could get an idea yeah see this drums this drums never even this drum doesn't have any wear on it it has no wear and these brakes look really good but they're seized up as well so I mean out of three out of three break, uh, sets of brakes I've got probably one that's salvageable and this brake drum I've got to get off so because it's the magnet was broke and rubbing against the inside here and this is worn down to the where it's wearing the heads of the screw uh, cap screws off. I've got a 3 8 drive. No, yeah, 3 8 drive with a 3 8 hex socket kind of thing. And that might be too weak to get these off. So they go through. They go through here. Yeah. So. There may be some heat involved. I got a half drive ratchet. Trying to get this kind of cleaned out. Into it. try some heat to loosen these bolts up and, and I can hit them with this uh, impact and uh, hopefully not melt my seal This dude broke. I'm just grabbing this thing and turning. All right, instead of clobbering all over the ground, I decided to, I decided to take uh, 30 seconds and mount my vise. It's hoping to pull down. Flip that around. Oh my god, these things are heavy. Get up there. Let's try this one. No good. It's wearing on the head. You want to catch? Dang. Whoa.
go. Backing plates off. Oops, I guess I need a socket. mode. I'm in a bad mood now. Alright, I need 11 
drums. Uh, two of them were bad beyond the 12.34. One was, I mean, I'm going to reuse one of them because it was basically untouched, brand new. And then, no, one was bad. And two were maybe, they might have turned out okay. So, anyway, I just... I couldn't really, I was even, I had to go to a machine shop. I couldn't even find anybody uh, that had the uh, setup to hold this drum to turn it. So the machine shop was going to make a custom fixture to hold it and turn it. And these drums are $250, $300 a piece. So it was worth having a machine shop look at it. But since one was bad and, and two were questionable, I mean, it was going to cost about the same. I think it was going to be maybe three, four hundred bucks to turn all four of them versus, you know, five hundred bucks if. change that seal it's a little rusty it's a unitized seal and they're like 40 bucks a piece so the tires weren't leaking on the back side they were actually leaking out of the front caps which is kind of weird because they've got an o-ring in them so i'm not for sure what that's all about of course you know th two th two or three of them had had heavy oil in it so these seals might have leaked a little rust on them, but if they're if they leak, I'll I'll pull the wheels back off and change the seals. Okay. One. Definitely something going on here. Definitely don't want to cross thread these. sure these were never even touching no no nothing oh. yeah here's the other three this one 
was toast. It was the one that had the magnet wearing down the, and it was way beyond 12.34. These two were, you know, they were, they were close. They were questionable. It might have, they might have gone past 12.34, so it just wasn't worth it. Let's get our first one on. plug is should fit in there better right. it was like a hundred foot pounds and then back it off a quarter turn or something I'll go look I got the book on it or the paper it's just a sheet of paper on the axles I don't have a socket big enough to do this. It's over two inches. This is how we're gonna do it. Okay. All right. So that's snug. We're gonna. We're not going to tighten it to the 100 foot pounds and back it off, snug it up, and then turn it a quarter turn. So, yeah. See, it said snug. That's snug. That's more than snug. And then back it off a quarter turn. So, that's actually loose. I never liked that. doesn't work we'll do it again I just driven that one on this one's supposed to be on a hundred foot pounds so that's kind of sad. Gosh, 200 foot pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something heavier on these. Oops.
smoking. Oh, jeez, it's hot. Burn that rust off. Now, what I'm going to do about this one? I'm kind of screwed myself. Let's see if I can salvage this without having to cut the bolt off. I guess I can. other side got two bolts I'll go to take the other one to the store just like to get one side fin or yeah I'd like to finish this side I can say I did something Ended up just buying uh, these are two inch long seven sixteenths uh, uh, coarse thread. I couldn't they didn't have any fine thread. They stick out a little longer. They're supposed to be one and three quarters, but these are two. Oh, 
so far I haven't forgotten the springs, but I'm afraid I'm going to. are kind of flat too. A little cracked. Yeah, they're probably not working. It's hot. Wow. It's come of the friction. That ah, must so be a lot of friction. It is a lot of friction. I hit it with this hammer uh, driver, whatever it's called, impact wrench. And it hit hard. Yeah, and it just slams this, it knocks the rest off. <laughs> Quick before the sun goes down. I'm gonna tighten these up. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I bought this two and a quarter socket to tighten things up. So, well, a couple of things I wanted to do is clean this up. Probably help that O ring seal better. Tight. It's pretty tight. My camera froze up, but I did that to the other uh, three hubs. Now all I have to do is get the brakes wired up, but I've got a lot more to do on this trailer, and I'm going to save that for a uh, later video. <laughs> 